yeah, I messed up the motor home. Now how much is it gonna cost? Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So it's getting toward that time of the season where you gotta start doing your yearly maintenance. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about what yearly maintenance we're having done. How much is this gonna cost us? And now we have an additional cost because MJ screwed up. You see damage the motor home. We're gonna talk about that toward the end of the video. So you're gonna to wanna to watch the whole thing, see what she did, and then how much this is gonna cost us. All right, so we've talked about this on many different videos. If you have an RV, especially if you have a motorhome, there are maintenance costs associated with it. Ours is no different. So we have a 2019. It's now going in, it's 21, going into the 22 season very soon. Wear and tear, we have, what, over 17,000 miles. And for the most part, this motorhome has been great. Very few issues. Now, we keep on it. We have it maintained, but there's a couple things that you know, they happen. So first of all, we are going to be taking very shortly, we'll be taking Nelly up to Country Classic Auto Body RV. They're up in Wantage, New Jersey. These guys are great. Michael Sr., Michael Jr., they've been in business for over 30 years. They take care of us and all their customers. We trust nobody else we did a but video. Country Classic. Yeah, we did a great video about them. We're going to link yeah. that above, but we're actually looking forward to going up there because Nelly will be in good hands. The first thing on the list, I already sent them an email about to be taken care of. It's going to be this rear slide here on the passenger side, this area here. Now, this has kind of been an issue, an ongoing issue. I don't know what's up with this slide from Newmar. When we went out to the service center, they did some adjustment, but it's kind of never been right. Right now, it's fully, you can see if you come a little closer, it's fully recessed into the wall, which it should be. So Newmar slides, there's no molding. They go recessed into the wall. The problem is, is that when we extended, sometimes I have to kind of like push it for it to go all the way out. And then sometimes when, all the time, when we extend it, it doesn't come in evenly. So you'll have like the front part will come in first and then the, the back part will come in. And then I kind of have to keep hitting that retract button until it evens out. And it's just, it just needs an adjustment and nobody's really been able to seem to get that right. So we're hoping Country Classic will get that because I think they know what they're doing. So that's gonna be the first thing. I don't know how much that's gonna cost. Let's move on to what our second thing that's gonna be on the list. And these are just repairs. This is not gonna be routine maintenance. You could see over here, I have it taped off. There, this panel here, it's loose. And it's a simple screw that's essentially screwed into nothing. I don't know why Numar did it that way. I tried to tighten it down, put a little silicone, but just going down the road, it's getting loose. So Country Classic will definitely take care of this because that's what they do. Okay, the third thing they're gonna have them do is to check every single seal on this motorhome. Now, I am pretty on top of this, but there's certain ones that I can't check. So like the ones under the slide toppers on the roof, I can't get to that unless I take that slide topper off. The ones behind the awning, I'd have to take that off to get to it. So they have the facility there. They have the machinery to be able to do all that. They're gonna go through all the roof seals, although I'm pretty good with that. I want them to check everything. They're also gonna perform their leak test. For 150 bucks, they pressurize the interior of the RV. Then they go around the outside, they soap everything. They're looking for any bubbles. Any bubbles is a possibility where there is a chance of intrusion of water. So they're gonna go through all that. We get a certificate, goes into the record showing that you know we are keeping on top of this. The fourth thing we're gonna have looked at is on the front end of our coach, I think it's coming from the sway bar. We are getting like this clunking sound when we are uh, low speed and hard turns. If there's some like, a little bit of sway, it'll clunk. On the highway, it doesn't do that. I don't know what's going on. I We've had this chassis grease. It's kind of getting worse, so I'm gonna have them take a look at it. If they can't do it, then we're gonna wind up taking it to a, a truck chassis place to take a look at that. The next thing we're having done is routine maintenance, having the whole chassis grease according to the manufacturer specs. Now, we used to go to the Ford dealership for this. They don't do it anymore. They don't work on motorhomes anymore. Thank you, Ford. So nowhere around us within like a 50 mile radius can we go to a Ford dealer to have any kind of work done on a motorhome they just won't look at it so we're going to have it done up there at country classic all right next on the routine maintenance list i'm just going to have them take a look at the chassis all the way around checking for bolts or any areas that may be issues check the brakes just the lines stuff you know the propane line anything that looks out of place just give it a once over take a look at it we're not having any issues that we think but you never know all right so now you get to yell at me <laughs> everybody so this is the final thing that we're going to need to get fixed and we did i did damage. now we i I, you. I fixed it <laughs> hey you did the mirror I, now we're even the wheel well okay the fiberglass cracked in the, the front fender yeah. front yeah passenger side uh yeah 
So we think this is how it has happened. So we've talked about our liquid spring. It goes up and down, right? So when we are parked, it's kind of in the normal or the low position. When we pull out, well, so when I, and this is not totally MJ's fault. If you watched our other videos, you know she hadn't dri driven the motor home at all since we had liquid spring. So it was kind of a new experience for her. Because of my eyes. And so, I, didn't yeah. ex I didn't explain it to her because it didn't even come to mind. So the first time she drove it out, we live to exit our home. It's a, it's a huge hill and the first turn is banked heavily. So what you have to do, you have to raise the liquid spring up so there's enough clearance mm -hmm. for that front wheel because you're turning and hard. And it's literally tilting Correct. like that. So. No different than if you had a diesel pusher. Mm -hmm. Essentially, that that is what you have. You don't have a diesel pusher, but you have that kind of suspension. So MJ pulled out for the first time not knowing that. And I believe what happened was she didn't have it at the appropriate level. You're supposed to have it mm -hmm. for us. You got to have it high. high. So there's plenty of clearance. She cut that wheel and the wheel caught the inside of the fender and ripped up the fiberglass. So it's actually not my fault. It's your fault for not telling me. Of course. Me. Well, Let's listen, <laughs> you could either be, you could be right or you could be happy if you're married, right? Men, you can put that in the comments below if that's not a true statement. Uh, but so I, I don't anticipate this being a huge job. It's not really bad, the damage. It can be repaired. They already told us they can repair it. Matching the paint, because the way it happened was the paint is different colors so that's going to be a little bit of work matching but they're really good up there yeah. they've already painted one of our bay doors and it came out perfect so that's probably going to be the most expensive i don't know how much it's going to cost us hopefully not too much but it's probably you know it's not going to be that cheap but anyway we're going to leave uh, shortly we'll head up there it's going to be out there up there for a couple of weeks so when yeah. we get it back we're going to let you know what was fixed what were the issues and then what's the final bill but before we move any further, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spray. Now, if you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade for your Class A, B, C, or Super C motorhome, Liquid Spring is your answer. We have the four corner Liquid Spring setup on Nelly. It is a game changer. We love it. If you want more information on how to get Liquid Spring installed on your motorhome, contact Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring. His information will be below. But even better, if you get a system installed, you can use the discount code RIDE endlessly to get up to $750 off on the new liquid spraying system. Again, we encourage you drive a demo vehicle, you're going to wind up buying it. If you're looking for the very best suspension upgrade, look no further than liquid spray. All right, so we're back at Country Classic. It's about 10 days since we dropped it off. As we expected, all the issues were dealt with perfectly. We had a couple things on the list, like we explained earlier in the video. We had the fender, which you guys fixed, yep. and you matched the paint. It looks like stock. You can't even tell the difference. And now, you also worked on the rear slide, which was kind of an ongoing issue that we had. So just explain what you found on that rear sure. slide. So the, the, yeah, so the slide, it was a, it's kind of a tube in a tube, um, and the roller, the gear roller that moves the slide in and out, above it has a nylon bushing, and that bushing, the pin in that bushing kind of slid out of place and was kind of cockeyed in there. So because of that, it would, it would, the tube would ride up and over the gear roller. So that was probably a pretty, pretty easy fix, a new C-clip and back on the road. And again, we had taken the motor home to a couple other places that they did some adjustment on the slide, but it was just never right. And it makes sense because it wasn't in there, right? Uh, and then you also did the yearly leak test, which you got to quickly explain what you do with that. Yep, we do so that every leak year. test. The leak test uh, found there was there was one leak on your one radius on the right side here, okay. and actually it you know could have been a, a good leak one day um, right above your door, right above the gutter on on the door okay. was actually leaking, and the, the sealer looked absolutely perfect. So, okay, but so it, found... it came up with a leak. Yeah. Okay, so yep. you were able, but you didn't see any penetration inside. No, so it didn't look like water had come in, and probably underneath the seal underneath, you know, stopped any moisture from getting in. But one day it could have could have caused some so damage. So you guys so. went, you took care of that. Yep, so sealed it up and good to go. Again, that service you orders offers what 150 bucks. 150 dollars for the test. Yeah. And you get a certificate. It's good for the year. Again, preventative medicine for these things. <laughs> Sure. $150 is a bargain compared sure. to what could happen if that water Absolutely. infiltrate. And then the final thing, again, that had us just like stumped and a couple of other places we took it to. We were getting a noise from the right front side, the right passenger side, what we thought was coming from the sway bar. Now we've taken it to three different service centers. Everybody looked at it. Everything's tight. Everything looks good. But 
we knew something was wrong. And you guys, when you first looked at it, you know, you kind of stumped. So explain what, yep. what was going on there. So we, we put it up on our lift, checked for loose bolt, worn parts, took it around our lot, which is millings and pretty bumpy, and, and heard it from time to time, still couldn't find it. it. Took about four or five of us to rock the motorhome back and forth and somebody laying underneath to finally find that the sway bar link was the factory sway bar link and the upgraded sway bar from Roadmaster was, had a slightly different size hole than the factory sway bar link. So I guess Izzy found some upgraded sway bar links and that should solve itself. Yeah, so I contacted Roadmaster and explained this to them and, and actually they do have the upgraded sway bar link, which kind of doesn't make sense why it comes with the sway bar. Correct. But we're hoping that's the issue. We actually have video of you guys rocking it and, oh, and isolating that problem. So what I'm trying to say is that guys, we've, we've done a video with Country Classic before. They don't pay us to be here. They offer a service that's really hard to get, especially nowadays. It's hard to get into a service center. Not only do they get you in and out on a timely fashion, we have booked this out probably a month, ahead, two months ahead. We told them we needed it today. It was done today. That is something very rare that's going on, but even more so, you guys took the time because you cared and you wanted to find a problem that three other places couldn't find. So thank you for that. Appreciate if anybody wants to reach out to you guys, they have work to do, how do they get in contact with you guys? So you could either find us on our website, countryclassicautobody.com. We also have a Facebook page, which will lead you to either our phone number, which is 973-702-3333. You could also reach out to us through email, which is info at countryclassicab. Com. They'll actually answer you and they'll call you back. <laughs> so in the comments below, let us know what you think. Have you have any of the issues that we've been having with the slide, way bar, whatever it may be. Also, have you worked with Country Class? You told us that some of yeah, our, our yep, viewers have come video. up here. Let us know what you think in the comments below. For myself, MJ, Mike Chikini Jr., thank, thank you. you guys for watching. We'll see you on the road.